into West Wales as well, and then by the evening getting into uh, Northern Ireland and getting into parts of Wales as well, and the wind's getting up to gale force at times in the West. And now news of tomorrow's panorama from Richard Lindley. On Panorama Tomorrow, the television revolution. Four new cable TV channels start next month in some British towns. Next year, there'll be up to 50 available. You're soon to have it in England, because you've got all these uh, morons that are going to go into this cable business. But they, they, you have these, well, but they're rich morons, so it's OK. In America, cable TV has spawned a new flavor in television, but many channels have failed spectacularly. Will cable TV catch on here? And what sort of programs will we be seeing? It will be mostly, practically all recorded material. There will be very little that's live. And it will come from around the world. A fair percentage will come from the United States and Canada. Television writer Chris Dunkley joins Panorama to investigate what cable TV promises for Britain and looks over the horizon at even newer technologies like satellites transmitting programs straight into your home. That's The Television Revolution. Panorama, BBC One, tomorrow night at 10 past 8. These are programmes for the rest of Sunday evening on BBC One. In a moment, that's life, followed at 10 o'clock by Olympic Grandstand with coverage of the Ice Gala and highlights of the closing ceremony. Every Man at 10.35 presents a portrait of the writer Arthur Kersler, and we end with international darts between Wales and Scotland at 11.15. But now we join Esther Ranson and company for That's Life. <laughs>